see if I can drink with my headset in the way. Jump back into it there, eh? Okay. Professor, hey, do you know how old Captain Gerald is? That's enough, Leone. If I don't know, how could my child know? It's not normal to forget your own age, you know. It's kind of worrisome, actually. By the time you're forgetting your own age, you're past the point of caring. I guess if you put it that way, you've got a point. I have a request. A real battle this month, huh? I hear even the Knights of Seros are involved. Never thought. Never taught you much about tactics, but there's a prime. A primer on it in my room. Give it a read. Starting with this month's mission, you can now lead a battalion into battle. Search for tech. It's primary in cabin quarters. Okay. Okay. I know where his room is, but I think I'm going to talk to Edelgard real quick. Wherever she may be. For some students, this will be their first time stepping onto a real battlefield. It's important that they're mentally prepared. As for me, <laughs> do I look green to you? Is there anything else you wish to ask me about regarding spending your time at the monastery or battles? Charging Just as students have much to learn from other students, professors can also share their knowledge with each other. You should consider seeking instruction from Professor Hanneman or Professor Manuela. I think you'll find their insight quite interesting. You can increase your skills by training with knights and professors in the monastery. Use a facility training option to benefit from their wisdom. As the story progresses, faculty training will become advanced. Drills use this option to learn from any unit with a higher skill level than your own. Which house a student is assigned to depends on where they're from. That said, each professor has their own area of expertise. So if a student is adamant about it, it is possible to switch someone from one house to another, pending your approval, of course. If you become closer with the students by partaking in the various activities around the monastery, you'll be able to talk to them about such things. 
working. Students from other houses, you will need to meet their requirements. Each student prioritizes different stat and stats and skills. It's easier to recruit students who like you, so try building up support level with students you'd like to recruit. Certain non-students will also become available for recruitment as the story progresses. Alright. Okay, now that I've done that... I'll be the fastest kid alive. Hello. I was thinking. What about? What the? Uh. Well. Inside the cathedral, there is a chapel dedicated to the four saints. Oh, Saint yeah, Indet. Now that you are a member, I have something to ask of you. Students in the courtyard. But where's the courtyard? Cathedral reception hall. Is this shit supposed to be the courtyard? Fuck <laughs> it. We'll just run down there. Here's an idea. Sir. I was Professor. thinking. What about... <laughs> the Knights of Saros are also known as the Shining Knights. We are the sword and shield of the divine Saros. There are many orders of knights in the world, but we are the only one that has the honor of bearing the name Saros. As a member of the church, you should probably study up on the history of Saros and the Knights. Professor, you're the one taking out the bandits? <laughs> That's one way to start your career at the academy. I didn't expect they'd order us to risk our lives here. Seems a bit extreme, doesn't it? What's up, Professor? You need something from me? Hey, I got a girl waiting. Well, two. <laughs> they don't know about each other. I mean, can we talk later? Cha and reason. What the fuck is cha? I was thinking. It's just a bulletin board, isn't it? Uh, you know. Bridget, Elmira, Thesker, even people from far off lands gather here at the academy. Word of advice, Professor. There are those who don't think kindly of such people. <laughs> I 
was thinking. All right, I'm actually I'm ready for like a battle battle now. Hey you. Like going back and using some tactical shit, using my fire emblem skills. This monastery thing's weird to me. This whole concept. Well done. You have my thanks. You're welcome. Still don't like you though. Just gonna fast travel. Thanks for your help. I chose some knights to help you out. They'll be deployed in your next real battle. I'm sure you'll be able to make good use of them. Starting with this month's mission, you can now lead a battalion into battle. Search for the tactics primer in the captain's quarter and peruse. Peruse. I used to reading that word. It to get up to speed. Access the items menu to use store. Take or swap items for your units. For your units, items cannot be carried. No. Items that cannot be carried will be sent to the convoy. Access the abilities in combat arts menus to equip your units with what they've learned. Use a battalion menu to assign battalions to your units. And use the reclass menu to switch units class to any for which they are certified. Classes a unit has mastered are marked with a star. Have you not been told what's expected from lectures here? Well, I can tell you how it works based on what I've heard from other professors. When you instruct your students to gain skill experience, as their skill increases, they will gain access to new abilities and combat arts. The number of people you can instruct is indicated by your activity points at the top of your screen. When you set up a, gr a group task, the students will assign, you assign will continue their task until you change it. After the first round of instructions each month, your student may come to you with a question. They will be motivated if they like your answer. Before starting a lecture, it's a good idea to determine everyone's academic goals. Students will want to prioritize studying things that will help them achieve their aim. Students study their own and earn study on their own and earn skill experiences according to their skill goals result. So reported at the end of each week, you can alter students' goals at any time using the goals menu. It's probably easier to get Seems good to results if you instruct students based on their interests and specialties. Of course, that doesn't mean it's pointless to teach someone things unrelated to their personal goals as well. By looking beyond their preferences, some students may find they're interested in fields they've never previously considered. A three-star mark next to a skill indicates that you will unlock a budding talent after a certain amount of instructing. Also, somebody could fucking hate it, but they could turn out to like it after forever of instruction. Once you unlock a budding talent, that person will go on to excel in that particular skill. Then we even learn a new ability or combat art. Okay. 
At least there's the three stars to let you know, so you're not just wasting time. A student's goals may change based on their studies or the experience they gain while on missions. When that happens, perhaps you could help them decide what new goals they should set for themselves. As, as students improve from instructing and personal study, they may, may approach you with suggestions for new goals. Oh, okay. Whether to accept their suggestions or not is completely up to you. Feel free to guide your students along paths of your own choosing. How okay. motivated a student is will affect how well your tutoring goes. To help cultivate their motivation, I think it's a good idea to interact with your students as much as possible. Please try your best to motivate everyone, so that they, in turn, will try hard with their assignments and activities. You can instruct students with high motivation more frequently. One way to increase motivation is to interact with your students around the monastery. So like cooking and shit, I guess. At the Officers Academy, students are encouraged to engage in various activities in and around the monastery. If you instruct your students to work together as a team, it will help to deepen their bonds and produce better results. You can assign one group task each week. Students who take part will earn skill experience based on your choice. You can also get gold and resources by completing these tasks. The result of a group task will depend on student strengths, weaknesses, and affinity for one another. Have you heard about the certification exams? They take place every month. Everyone here is working hard to become a certain type of soldier. And those tests are how you can check to see how far we've come. In order to pass the exam, you need to train enough to become whatever class you're aiming for. Take care to develop your students strategically so that they can pass their certification exams. Petra can become a Myrmidon? I knew I liked her. When you pass a certain exam, their certification exam, you can change to a new class. Benefits of high tier classes include increased stats and growth rates. Okay. You're a teacher. How do I do this? It's a joke. You're not actually gonna know. Auto instruct. Goals. Let's look at goals. What the hell is the flag? Skill level and flag. Authority. There's a lot that's going into this Fire Emblem, this is interesting. I guess we'll do Accent Authority. skills. activity points to spend on these boys. This is interesting. It 
doesn't look like that made her happy. <laughs> He looks like somebody that I'd use a lance too. Hmm. One step closer to mastery. for you such interesting ideas you seem to have professor but tell me this what would you do if you were given the task of teaching a sub that subject that you yourself did not understand I do my best to explain the gist at least take the time to study the subject before teaching it no such subject exists for a dude. Okay, I guess I will give this a quick pause. And be right back.
hope that's good. No. All right. <clears throat> okay. Let's go ahead and play some Fire Emblem Three Houses. Okay. Let's do it. Auxiliary battles are now available. How often you can battle is limited by your activity points indicated at the top of your screen. On normal difficulty, some auxiliary battles will not cost activity points. Okay. If you head into battle while playing online, you may see the spirits of those who perished on the other players' battlefields. They are more likely to appear in places where death is frequent. Spirits that appear in this shade indicate an area where the, where many enemy units have fallen. You can collect items that were dropped by the vanquished. Spirits that appear in this shade indicate an area where many allied units were lost. They can they can impart blessings such as experience or restored equipment durability. That's cool. Too bad I'm not a Nintendo Switch Online person. So that one doesn't require any auxiliary points. This is Heroes to Red Canyon in order to help strike down a group of bandits. Ah, okay. Suggested level three. What level am I at? I myself am a level 3 now that I'm thinking about it, right? Yeah, level 3. 3 for her. Few twos, okay. I wonder if I yeah, suggest level 3 on both of them. We'll practice it. See what happens. <laughs> In battle, it's necessary to deploy battalions so that students can experience taking command. I doubt I need to say this to a mercenary like you, but if you have any questions about how to use your soldiers, please don't hesitate to ask. After you hire a battalion, you'll need to decide who will lead them. Battalions can contain soldiers like mages and monks who don't fight with weapons. Be sure to think carefully about who would benefit most from the support of battalion soldiers and their specific skills. Using inventory menu to assign battalions to your units, granting them increased stats like attack or hit rate. These stats will grow further as the as a battalion gains experience fighting long alongside you. Okay. When you deploy a battalion, you can utilize its special gambit in battle. If a gambit is successful, your enemy will be severely shaken. Units hit by gambits will be rattled. Rattled units cannot move, use gambits, or benefit from battalions, and suffer 10% penalty on all stats. Huh. Okay. Joining forces with a nearby ally is a surefire way to enhance your effectiveness. When a gambit is used on an enemy within the attack range of one or more of your other units, it will become a gambit boost. The might and hit rate of the gambit will, incre will increase based on the number of units participating on and their support levels. 
Interesting. Alright, so we want to do this. We can go to battalions. Okay, so those guys have battalions. Veteran mer mercenaries once commanded personally by Geralt the Bladebreaker charge, charge attacks against foes. Mercenaries are your better. Okay. <laughs> I'm tired. I guess we're just gonna run with the battalions that they have right now, right? All of my units in now, that's nice. Then you get Caspar and Dorothea and uh, Bernadetta, Bernadetta, and this weirdo. And guys with battalions up front. The enemy. Draco and four Edelgard. Edelgard, excuse me, fall in battle. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I need that. Do I? It's kind of nice to tag on, I guess, but we'll, we'll turn that off. And. Stay focused. Von Eyre. Alright, let's see what happens with the battalions now. Hey, this gained a little bit of life back from that, didn't I? Ah. 
Bye. Oh. Thought you were gonna hit me. Bridget Pride. Jump. <laughs> what a jump. Here you go, little buddy. Got you some experience. But won't she though? You guys keep going through the forest. Thank you. the help. Thank you. 
got many skills, you know. Not quite what I was after. heal five times this battle. I don't know what I should waste it on him then. Dude, he's only got a 37 hit chance. Yes. Yep. Nice roll there, bud. I think I'll keep her up with me. I'm actually gaining a little bit of life. Yo, what's up, man? I'm just gonna be a mist fest in this forest. Gonna be on for a while still. So. Well, that kind of depends. Um, for a while. see how into the the campaign I am right now um, I am a little tired but nice Joshua create animation thanks dude I had to, I had to throw him in here he's my boy um, if you want to stay up and hang I'll, I'll stay for longer but if you're not gonna be doing if you're not gonna be hanging for a while I won't be on for a while Same with me, Sacred Stones was... <laughs> you're gonna play for a bit, but you're tired? Yeah, I'm in the same boat. So whenever you go, I'll probably go, actually. Play it by ear. What time do you want me at your place? I told Chris be here by like 12.10 at the latest, so he said he'd get here at 12. Bye. Hardly worth my time. 
any experience is worth having. Technically, it is north of my house, so you could stop there. But if you want to ride with me, okay, that works. That works. Yeah, absolutely, dude. If you want to hang out, I'm totally down to hang. I was gonna let everybody know I'm um, at golf tomorrow. That if they want to come hang, feel free. Because all I plan on doing tomorrow is this. It's time. Miss fuck. I miss. My gambit sucked. <laughs> Let's try another gambit. Fuck it. are you going which house did you go with or are you going with are you, were you going with uh dimitri and, uh, i actually do want like i'm gonna do multiple playthroughs on this game and i think i'm gonna do dimitri next because the the story is saying that he has some darkness in him and i want to i want to know what that's about is a cougar on the prowl, for sure. <laughs> Petra is a My beast. Is I'm gonna make her awesome victory. in this game. You thought... She's gonna... She's my first level 4. She's higher than me and Edelgard now. Hard work created this. She does not beat around the bush. I know, right when you fucking first like go to talk to her in the monastery, she's like, when you go to her room or whatever, lock the door. What? Uh, 
that's what I just read and made me say that. Yeah, I saw that last night when I first started playing and I was just like, excuse me? Caution is needed. Let's get you a hero. Let's get you an iron lamp, yeah. bitch. Only a fool challenges me. The noble standard. Give her the glory. You were wide open. Well, like what you see. That girl also doesn't beat around the bush. Very straightforward. Hard for nothing. And this is like, oh. Oh. must be awful losing to me. Dorothea, MVP. How is it putting my calendar on the load screen? What am I supposed to do? There's a lot to this game. Still don't understand it all yet. Like about the teaching aspect and whatnot. <sighs> Definitely make 
make you a rider. Put Casper in there. You just officially picked your house. I am interested to know how your playthrough goes because, like I said, the Blue Lions, my curiosity peaked. Pretty well today. I am beginning to understand. Cathedral, will you participate? Do I want to? No, but I guess so. Learning these things gives me great difficult, uh, difficulty. Must I? Fine, but I will sing it solemnly. Indeed, horse. I will do my part. It is done. With big fucking ears. All right, all right, all right. Look I won't that forget shit. all I've learned. The battlefield has much to teach. I will master this. Not a total waste. Let's put this to the test. I'd never have learned this back in my room. Oh, <laughs> I see now. I'm closing in on expertise. Okay. Sign a lecture to hold a seminar that will increase unit skill, experience, and motivation.
There was an intermediate. I thought there was only like... There were only two selections. It was normal or hard for me. I swear. Oh, okay. Then it's inter intermediate is what I'm on. Classic mode. And I'm not online because I don't have Nintendo Switch online. Or whatever the hell it is. So, the same thing you have minus online. So those you select elite seminars will instruct others in the areas of ex expertise. Higher skilled instructors grant more skill experience to those who attend. People choose to attend a seminar based on how well the subject matches their skill goals. Will those with high motivation are likely to attend? Okay. Uh, I don't even know what online does. Um, I just read a little bit about it um, before that last battle. It'll explain a little bit of online. It, it doesn't seem like it's a huge deal to have online, but you can get like items and shit if you have online and it'll explain. I don't want to spoil it. It's not really spoil, I guess. You're, you're going to get to it. All right, begin a seminar in a group tactics in Gerald's Mercenary Fighting Style. Those are like all my favorite peoples that would be attending mine. A seminar in ancient folding fighting style due to uh, utilizing lance skills. In a seminar on both reason and bow skills from the same professor of the monastery and leading Christ scholar in Falkland. <sighs> Fates and sword skills. I'll do a seminar. My efforts were not in vain. Goddamn right. I work to grow. Damn, Petra is a C with her sword? It's Mercedes' birthday. Nah, I'm not gonna buy her flowers. Perfect timing, Professor. I've just received word from the Knights. They've located the bandits. It seems they have them cornered. They are in Xanado, the Red Canyon. I can't wait to get started. I'll strike down those heinous thieves before they know what hit them. Charge ahead if you must, Caspar. Just do not put the rest of us in danger. I'm going back. I won't be of any help anyway, and I don't want to get hurt. Don't worry, Burn. It's just some bandits. We'll have no trouble at all. Eh, don't get ahead of yourselves. Unfounded optimism isn't a great strategy. Let's just get this over with. There is nothing to get over. We will work with each other to achieve our mission. It's time, Professor. Give us our orders and let's move out. Yep.
think I need to buy anything here, actually. So you gonna be on here for a little bit? Should I try this mission? You gonna hang out with me that long or probably not? All right, yeah, I'm getting a little sleepy eyed. So I think I'm in the same boat. I'm just gonna stop for right now. Go to sleep and see you in the afternoon. Although if I deploy, I think I can save it. Right here. Yep. Alright man, see you then, or I will see you at another time. Actually, I'm going to wait for this loading screen to go through first before I stop. taking children into battle, are we? I am not certain I will be able to sleep soundly after beholding something like that. <laughs> I shall allow you to turn back the hands of time. But no, this power is not infinite. Press the ZL button during the player phase to trigger Divine Pulse. At the end of each battle, Divine Pulse uses, uses will be recharged. Okay. Yeah, now that I can confirm that I'm saving right before the battle, I will see you then or at another time, but really it's tomorrow, so I'll see you tomorrow, man. Have a good night. Enjoy the game, because Fire Emblem, dog. Peace!